Also, welcome back, guys. My name is Amlan, and in today's Make Noise Free campaign, we go about understanding on how to use one of these devices. This is nothing but the Pulse Oximeter, and this is a must have now when the whole world is grappling with the COVID 19 issue. So, this helps to know about the oxygen saturation levels. Doctors are advising that you record at least thrice a day the oxygen saturation levels inside your body. This is not just measuring the oxygen saturation levels, but it also helps in knowing the pulse rate. So just before we begin, it's very important to understand that the oxygen saturation levels inside your body is pretty important thing. Every organ in your body needs oxygen, especially the heart and the brain. They are very, very sensitive to lack of oxygen. So therefore, any time oxygen levels fall down in your body, you may be suffering a medical disaster. So you should have some signals as to what the oxygen saturation levels are inside your body using this device. So let's kind of understand how simple it is. So let's begin. Now, before we begin, it's important to understand that inside the human body, the anatomy says that the heart is pumping blood to all the organs and inside blood like the RBC is responsible for carrying the oxygen. Now, this is also measured using the hemoglobin and that's how the oxygen saturation levels are pretty important to determine. Now, the way the pulse oximeter works is like you clip in your fingers and like which finger so if this is my right hand and it's said to avoid the left hand in the right hand the right thumb and the right middle fingers are where the oxygen saturation levels are found to be the most accurate so you'd be clipping those fingers only inside the pulse oximeter so we would be turning the device on by just clicking it here so like once we do that the oximeter is turned on and then like we would be putting like i said the right thumb so now it's saying finger out so i will just push this open and put in my finger as soon as I put in my finger, you will see that it will start calculating results. So the first one is the SpO2, that is the saturation of oxygen. So like the oxygen saturation levels, anything above 95 is okay. And the pulse rate should be somewhere around 60 to 100. Sometimes it may vary a little bit. But in case it's going way above or way down, it's time to consult a physician or a doctor. And now in the present COVID crisis, it's pretty important to look at your SpO2 levels because you may have seen people put up on oxygen cylinders and stuff like that. That's when the oxygen levels are going down. So you don't want that to happen. So you record this thrice a day. So I just did it using my right thumb, but you could also do it using your middle finger. So like the middle finger, you just put it inside the device and then again, wait for, wait for the results to show up. Like I said, the arterial oxygen levels are supposed to be the most accurate with the right thumb and the right middle finger and the way you put it is like putting the finger with the tip pointed upwards inside the device so this is how like you would be reading the measurements which are given the first one is the spo2 that is the oxygen saturation levels and the second one is basically the pulse rate which is like i said like it's the correct readings would be between 60 to 100 anything little less or anything more would be like a point of concern so hopefully this tutorial helps in knowing how to use the pulse oximeter please keep one at home and please ensure that this is a working thing please don't have like you know a faulty pulse oximeter at home that can be pretty dangerous because uh, incorrect readings can create more concern than actually benefit the patient hopefully all this is helpful and if it does please consider subscribing to the channel and please also share this tutorial with your friends so that everybody now knows how to use a pulse oximeter and what it stands for thank you so much it's me amnan signing off until next time we meet again